That's right. Today, we are talking about Omagenai time, or magic spell time in English, which comes from the maid cafes. When you order drinks or food in a maid cafe, the maid will say, Moi, Moi, Kyun, while making a heart symbol with both hands to cast a spell over your food and drink and make it even more delicious. One of the more popular foods in a maid cafe is an amu rice, complete with a cute illustration drawn by the maid with ketchup. Miku actually did one in the music video of Don't You Tell Me, but it, it didn't last very long. <laughs> As she worked for some time in two different maid cafes, Miku is using all her experience and has adopted it to the concert audience. Even though the structure is, um, well, <laughs> let's just say you will never experience the same Omagenai time twice with Miku. She has a real talent for improvisation and uses it to engage with the audience. <laughs> During Omagenai time, the other members are totally free to hang around. Sometimes, they just play together, have fun, <laughs> Look for trouble. Or try to avoid trouble. There was even a time when each member took a turn at the drums. But most of the time, it goes like this. Explanations. Omagenai time is me magic spell time. Yes. Repeat words. I say moi moi, you say? Moi I say kyun kyun, you say? Kyun kyun. Miku crying because the masters and princesses didn't make enough noise. <laughs> wow! No, 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 no. <laughs> Repeat words again. And po. You get the picture. Depending on the stage, 
Miku walks a lot during her omajinai time, but she never runs out of energy. She even left the stage once to go off into the middle of the crowd for one of her funniest moments. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, Bandmaid was not able to perform live for a long time, but they found a solution. Online Okujis. Their first online concert was performed on July 23, 2020, at Harabutai in Tokyo. And even though there was no audience in the venue, every member had a lot of fun. So they continued to stream live concerts five more times between 2020 and 2021. Of course, Omajinai time was shorter, but Miku did the call and response with the viewers while looking at the camera, which was quite funny. And I'm sure that a lot of you actually cheered at your screen like you were there. Proof that even a pandemic can't stop Miku from performing her magic spell time. In the end, Omajine time is a special moment between Miku and the audience, where she is giving the best of herself, whether the audience is there or not. And you can't help but smile with pure happiness and joy during these few minutes of fun interactions with her. Miku's Omajine time is now a part of Bandmate and something to look forward to when you attend a bandmade serving in the future. Whether you're a fan of it or not, you can't deny that Miku is an incredible entertainer, and she is great at bonding with the crowd. And her homogene time is something that I believe only she can do. すごい可愛い子が来たなって思って。でも中身はなかなかおじさんだったりするので。中身おじさんなのプルポは。プルポおじさん。どういうところが？楽屋で酒とかずっと食べる。酒とか。どこが鳩やねん。鳩。This is actually the most accurate description of Miku, confirmed by each and every member and Miku herself. Despite her cute look, she is a middle-aged man inside. <laughs> this statement comes from the fact that her taste, words, and gestures are old-fashioned. For example, she likes to eat dried flying fish or dried salmon, which smells very bad. She also likes sochu and sake, which both are seen as older men's drinks in Japan. Talking about alcohol, she is the one who can drink the most amongst bandmate members. Regarding her hobbies, Miku has been into horse racing for a long, long time. When she was little, Miku played a game called Chocobo Stallion, which was released in 1999 on PlayStation. One day, she was told by her mother, 
that this game looks a lot like horse racing. So Miku looked into the sport and since that day, she has spent a lot of time watching live horse races during the weekends. Around 2012 or 2013, she bought her first tickets and went to a racetrack right after moving to Tokyo. Later on, she even invested in a horse called Blue Rose Ship. Miku confessed in an interview that she would love to be able to spend more time with horses as it's a real passion for her. Her dream would be to compete with a horse named Krupo. She loves to imagine the commentator saying Krupo, Krupo during a race and announcing that Krupo won. <laughs> that would be funny on so many levels to hear that on television. ビルシーナはピンチ。そこからレインボークルッポ。かますか。しかし懸命に食い下がるビルシーナ。ビルシーナ。レインボークルッポ。そしてピクシープリンセス。レインボークルッポか。レインボークルッポか。レインボークルッ
Miku explains that while she was doing some washing, a glass fell off, shattered at the sink, and a part of the broken glass hit her thigh. She had 10 stitches from that wound. We can actually see the look of her scar on this photo. Miku also broke her ribs at least twice, one time during the pandemic and one time during a tour a few years ago. And you know how energetic Miku is on stage. But despite the pain, she went through the performance without making anything worse. All the members often joke about Miku being cursed or having bad luck with all these incidents. Like this story, when Miku was in a taxi and the driver got into a car accident. She also laughs about the fact that she hits walls and doors all the time, so we can imagine that she's used to hitting everything around her. With everything that's happened and probably still is happening to her, we can say that Miku is a tough little pigeon. <laughs> Miku participated in several episodes of Japan in Motion. At first, Japan in Motion was just a series of videos introducing different parts of Japan, until TSS TV worked with No Life, a French TV channel, to turn it into a TV show. This project started in 2009 featuring foreign personalities discovering different places all over the country with a dedicated guide. After three seasons, it featured only Japanese personalities like Paspo and Kiari Pamyu Pamyu. Japan in Motion uploaded the episodes in Japanese on their YouTube channel, and they were dubbed in French for No Life until 2018 when it switched to the channel J1. During those episodes, we follow Miku while she's discovering different places with their restaurants, shops, activities, and their beautiful landscapes, from a neighborhood in Tokyo to the surroundings of Mount Fuji. And it worked pretty well when she was on the show, as the three most viewed videos from the YouTube channel feature Miku. While walking in Kichijoji, a neighborhood in the city of Musashino in western Tokyo, Miku went to a shooting bar and tried different weapons. Note that she is shooting with airsoft guns and not real ones. In Japan, firearms are very rare among the population and the law is very strict about firearms. A license is needed to own a weapon and few dare to try to own a license. But it's pretty funny to see someone in a maid outfit shooting with big guns. Now, this might sound odd, but Bandmaid takes April Fool's Day very seriously. On April 1st, 2018, Bandmaid announced that they were breaking up to create a new band called Band Maiko. Under new names and looks, the members of Band Maiko mixed hard rock and Michael style spirit. A Maiko is an apprentice geisha in Kyoto. Their jobs consist of performing songs, dances, and playing the shamisen or other traditional Japanese instruments for visitors during special events. Band Maiko released the MV of a song called Secret Maiko Lips, a Maiko adaptation from the band-made song Secret My Lips, using a dialect from Kyoto. <laughs> The next year, Band Maiko released a mini album with seven songs adapted from Band Made, but also with one original song called Gyon Cho 
along with a new MV. Two years later, Miku announced a solo project called Klupo with the digital release of a single named Peace and Love. This time, they took the joke pretty far as Klupo came with an official website, an online shop, a YouTube channel, accounts on Twitter and Instagram, and a spot on Pony Canyon's website. This project creates a new music genre called Hippie Popo and reinterprets the good old 70s music in a lovely and peaceful way. With Klupo, Miku goes from a black and white maid outfit to a very colorful hippie long dress. Her goal is the opposite of bandmate, who want to dominate the world, as Klupo is aiming for world peace. Klupo released the music video of Peace and Love on April 1st, 2021, to follow with a new song entitled Flapping Wings on August 10th, to celebrate the physical release of her single, limited to 3,900 copies. She also appeared in some interviews and radio shows over the year. After the physical release of Klupo's single, we wondered if she would come back or if it was just a one-time thing. And on January 5th, 2022, Klupo announced Hatiful, her first EP to be released on March 9th, which is Miku Day. Mika, can you explain what is Miku Day? はい、もちろん。説明すると数字の3は3、9は9と読めますよね。だから3月9日はミックさんなんです。Thank you, Mika. We didn't have that much information about this EP, but a month later, the set list and an MV were announced. Hatiful will include Peace and Love, Flapping Wings, along with four brand new songs. Among those new songs, Pogo was chosen for a music video that was premiered on February Closely at the set list, you may be able to notice something. Let's see. Peace and Love, Pogo, Flapping Wings, Hua Hua, Voice, Superstar. Oh! Wakata! I get it! Peace and Love, wa, hippie boy kako steiru, Misa san. Yes! And Pogo for Akane because of the famous gorilla called Pogo. Habataku Tsubasa toyu imi no Flapping Wings wa Kobato san. Fua Fua for Konami because, you know, that's Konami. Voice wa Vocal no Saiki san. And finally, Superstar. Could it be for Bandmate? And what they aspire to become? Well, this has never been confirmed, but it's very interesting to imagine why Miku chose those song titles. A few months later, Klupo continued to surprise us with a new single called With You, which was chosen as the ending theme for the anime Smile of the Ars Notoria. And once again, a beautiful MV was released for this song. <laughs>
Over two years of activity, Klupo released seven songs and four music videos, which is a lot considering how busy Miku is with Bandmade. And even though we don't have any news about Klupo for 2023, we can expect her to come back in the future. Well, this is now the time to end our journey with Miku. Yes, already. It's been a long journey, though. Well, she went through a lot. She had to live without a father very early in her life. Thankfully, Miku's mother and grandmother were here for her at that time, and Miku is so tough. Even though she sometimes talks about her dark thoughts, she always did her best to overcome them, move on with her life, and never give up. As soon as she knew that she wanted to become a singer, Miku did everything to reach her goal. Even if she sacrificed a lot of hours of sleep, she managed to earn enough to move to Tokyo and went from working as a maid to winning an idol contest. But this experience taught her that being an idol wasn't her thing. And when Miku finally had the opportunity to start her own project and create this miracle band, she had to find a way with the other members to become popular enough to pursue her dream. So she did what she does best, worked harder. Miku invited everyone she knew to the concerts, worked in a noodle cafe, sold tickets by hand, and promoted bandmade as much as possible. Of course, she wasn't alone, as all her bandmates helped to promote their band. But as the creator and public image of bandmade, she gave everything to avoid being disbanded. And all their efforts paid off when they chose to shoot the MV of Thrill instead of Aito Junetsu no Matadoru. This particular choice led to the birth of a fast-growing overseas fan base and a huge boost in their popularity. This was the momentum Bandmade needed to reach the point where they could start to write their own songs and become the hard-rocking band that we know today. Without Miku's hard work, her love for made cafes and this idea to mix cool music with cute outfits, Bandmade would never have existed. With the miraculous creation of this impossible band, our five favorite maids continue to pursue the same dream, living as professional musicians and dominating the world through music. As long as Bandmade will continue to play their music, we can say that they are making the world a better place. Don't you wanna say it? Don't say that.